Yes. All right, Chalava being called for his match right before game one starts of winner's round three. He did not exit, but that's fine. We're having the Furtada Sephiroth versus uh, what I think is a newcomer, but from what I've heard, Kaname has been to previous events. I don't know a whole lot about Olimar's Pikmin lineup, but I know the purple one hits like a truck. The white one does lots of damage, and the red one is the counter pick to Simon. Or is it Richter? One or the other. Kaname applying good ledge pressure here, keeping Frittata at bay. Frittata a little bit antsy with his uh, recovery, kind of just did the Octo Slash on the stage and got lost the whole stock for it. I think. Oh. Oh, sure, sure. Here, I'll, I'll move to the stump. Oh, you, you get the chair. Yeah. It's easier this way. Gotcha. All right, we're introducing another commentator. Yeah. For winners uh, round three. Yeah. What's uh, your name? My name is Spoon with an exclamation point. I just got absolutely destroyed by Shaman, so now I'm in losers. I'm waiting for that to finish. Ooh. I, I'm, I've heard good things about Shaman. I haven't played him yet, but. Uh, supposedly he's a hidden boss hailing from uh, Texas. Oh, really? Uh, that's what my sources say. I don't know how accurate they are, but it looks like he's living up to the hidden boss title. Um, speaking of hidden bosses, though, Frittata, one of our higher seeds, currently down a whole stock after that unfortunate SD against Kaname. Oh, boy. Pikmin plus dash attack? Right, so he's got him set up with flares, and wisely waits it out. It feels, it feels almost as though he's stalling out our sun. It feels a little bit that way. I guess that's kind of how you, you have to play with the orbs, but one of the ways you can stall cannot be shielded. Right, of course. All right, one of the strategies that I like to implement against the orbs is if I've had them on me for a little while, I just retreat to ledge and just grab it and use my ledge invincibility to time it out. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And it looks like this game is back up to one stock apiece now. Ooh. Furtado doing a good job of bringing it back. I Sometimes you can get demoralized after just being SDing. I, I know Furtado is unfortunately a victim of SDing frequently in bracket, but oh, he's really? holding it together. I was going to say, is he, a, is he a momentum based player or he usually pretty consistent regardless? I think he's a fairly momentum based player. Um, if he's having a good day, he'll play well. If he SDs early on, sometimes he just falls apart. <laughs> don't right tell him I said that. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Oh, he had the right idea with the counter. They were just the wrong direction. That was an interesting interaction there. The uh, Olimar and F smash flank with, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the, the, the Sephiroth up smash. Yeah, you cover half of my space in front of me, so right, right, the whole platform. And then he dies. Well... There you have it. You have a win from Kaname. If that's that is how you say it, correct? I believe so. I've been calling it calling him Kaname. I haven't asked him. I probably should. It's the duty of the commentators to know the players' tags. BTL. Do you know what sponsor that is? I I heard it's just the tag. Oh, okay. Like just part of his name. Gotcha. Big okay. tables and ladders. Okay. Um. I was thinking bacon, tomato, lettuce, but that oh, was too. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Maybe kaname is like a word in another language for sandwich. I don't want to say Japanese because that's presumptuous, but... Right, right. Maybe, maybe. it's a type of sub. I don't know. Maybe. Um, this kind of an interesting counter pick. I feel like Olimar would benefit from uh, the flatness of Kalos. I'm interested to see how this plays out. This is Frittata's counter pick, so maybe he has some um, hidden tech. Maybe it's a way for him to get back to stage to retreat to the platform Ooh, safely. That's right, that's right. He, he can stall with the, the fair in the side. Right. Uh, from what I've heard, fair can only cling onto the ledge from about halfway. If you try to fair into the stage any lower, it'll just not hit, it'll not connect. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I found that out pretty recently. I guess he's gonna try and go out there and maybe edge guard him more. I'm not really sure what the change of game plan is because outside of that SD, it was pretty close. I think uh, Kaname is smartly playing this patiently, just kind of ticking away a little bit. Earlier he went for a down throw and didn't follow up, he just kind of waited and correctly guessed that uh, Frittata would down B. That but closing behind? out, yeah, Dang. nice hitbox on that, closing it out with an up smash. 
Got the hit he wanted, but not the sweet spot. That was a nice little stall at the at the. Ooh. Oh, that is a big explosion. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I didn't think that that would cover the whole platform, but I guess that's one advantage is counter pick. Yeah. Kalo's coming into his favor. Ooh, that's 60 already. Ooh, well placed bear. Right, I thought I said, I'm running this back. Yeah, I know. This. Again with the neutral B. Is that a neutral B? That's a neutral B. Right? That is the neutral okay, B. Okay, I'm kind of a fake fan. I don't have all the DLC yet. <laughs> Oh no worries, like as long as you have the characters you want to play, that's what matters. Ah, uh, the base roster. Mm. Alright, we got him. Converting there. into an edge guard. Again. He really does he's, force Kaname into a bad position. He's had a fair amount of success with that neutral beat fully charged. Uh, it looks like Kaname's wisened up and gone high. Yeah, it seems like it. He's starting to bring it back, surprisingly. I'm kind of surprised how close he's gotten, but here we go. Uh, F tilt doing it for stock number two. Potata up. Um, Potata with a, I think the first lead in the whole set. And it's tied. Quickly erased. Alright, he's going off with the white, trying to get some damage. Just holding center stage. It's kind of a double edged sword with that because he can rack up damage with the Pikmin, but it also gives him free will to counter anytime he wants to right. get the hard hits. I think that's one of those um, adapt mini adaptations that. Uh, the players are implementing throughout the game. He's getting uh, ticked by the little Pikmin, and now he's like, all right, well, now I can counter. Right. And you're gonna have to be careful with that. And you saw... Furtado's hanging on by the by the oh. grace of Kalos, but it doesn't matter because he gets bared off the right platform. It was a very subtle comeback, but he did do it. Edging it out, Furtado down, and Kaname advancing to round four.